Welcome to the hottest premiere in Hollywood. My name is Brett Chuckerman, and we are coming to you live on Hollywood Boulevard at the premiere of Burlesque, a much anticipated film this year starring Cher and Christina Aguilera amongst a huge roster of fantastic stars. We're in for a great treat. I hope you guys are ready to have some fun, see some celebrities, and get ready for a fantastic movie. My beautiful co host, it's Kiss FM's Ellen Kay over on the red carpet. Hi, Ellen. How's it going? Hey, Brett. Thank you so much for having us here. It is so great to be here as we stream live tonight. Like Brett said, with all the big stars, Christina Aguilera and Cher, Ryan Seacrest will be showing up with Julianne Huff, I am sure. She was amazing in the movie. And so many more. There's so many exciting stars to talk to tonight. Are you going to be nasty tonight? or? Yeah, I'm going to be nasty. I don't know what's going to happen. I might hit the pole like Miley Cyrus. Oh, yeah. We were in rehearsal for about two months before we even started filming, learning all the dances and rehearsing all together. You had a very big day today. Your yes. star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and now this huge premiere. Yes, yes, yes. Amazing, amazing day. Um, a staple in my lifetime. And we premiered your song last week on KISS. Two great reviews. The phone's just blowing up. And what was your favorite, favorite song from the movie? Oh my god, it's so hard to pick one favorite just because each one um, holds a specific purpose for um, specific scenes in the film. I'm in love with everything. Express, the burlesque finale, it's all just fun, fun, fun. And tell me about landing the gig. Um, you know, your director has said that he was so impressed with, with just your attitude and kind of how you, you could just like hang. Yeah, um, I approached everything um, knowing that I'm a newcomer, just openly, honestly, um, very vulnerably and open to the process, open to advice along the way and what better cast members to learn from than Cher, Stanley Tucci, etc. Coco, Chelsea Trail from the film. Coco, one of my favorite characters. I can't wait for you to see the film <laughs> because you are, you're it. I mean, seriously, tell She's us about cheeky. your dance bar background and your acting, um, and how did this all come well, about you know, for it's, you? It's it's like mind-boggling. I've danced my whole life. Yes. Um, when I first came to L.A., which was less than two years ago, Kenny Ortega approached me and, and said, you need to do this, and I started coaching. I started working. Um, I worked with Leslie Kahn, and this role came up, and I got coached for it, and I... Somehow I booked it, <laughs> and my life has been flipped and reversed upside sure. down. So it's been a roller coaster, but it's been amazing. So That's, it's great timing that this is out now, and and I'm just so proud of my brother. Honestly, he's so talented, and 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 uh, you know he's such a visionary. I've been in this town a long time, and it's kind of a I was kind of trained for this. You know what I mean? I yes. get ready for it, but it's a it's an incredible evening. Share. It's not leftist, she's just back bigger than ever. What I was, was impressed with her professionalism and her, her, her endurance, you know. We did this scene uh, quite a bit, and uh, so she's a real pro. She's, a, she's out of, from the old school. It's one of the scenes in the film where everyone's frozen on her. I mean, oh, I've done like, it's like I think the 19th or 20th song I've done. I wrote If I Could Turn Back Time and a yes. lot of other songs for her. So, but this is my favorite song we've ever done together. And it's really, I feel like it really, is like her my way, it, it encapsulates her life. Like I thought I was a pretty fit guy. Yes. And so we have to be naked in the scene, right? Uh-huh. And I take Your my shirt off. Your body is great. No, but let me tell you something about Stanley Tucci. Uh, the guy is yeah. yoked. Well, and like, so what's he doing to himself? I don't have no idea, but all I remember is that I then took, did the whole scene in a sheet because I was so embarrassed. So tell us, what have you heard about the film? Are you excited to be here? I'm really excited. I've been dying to see this movie. I mean, I'm a huge Christina Aguilera fan and Cher. It just looks like a fun, you know, a fun movie. So I'm excited. You don't often get a chance to do a tell a story with so much song and dance and I'm just sorry I wasn't doing either. It's a lot of work. I mean you you put in the work that you would normally put in to do a Broadway show. I mean that was my experience on Hairspray. But um, I haven't seen Burlesque and I know that there was a lot of choreography that went into it and um, but you do you rehearse for months and, and like you're you know gonna perform it on stage. So, you know, and then uh, when the cameras roll, you do it once or twice and then you're done. And, um, <laughs> you know, it's been five years in the making and it's an incredibly exciting night and I had no idea it was going to be this large <laughs> in scale and um, my family's here and my friends are here and the whole cast is here and I'm just, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I basically uh, recreated a, a girl, a guy what takes his time by Mae West. So it's an old uh, song that they wanted for this one scene in the movie. I haven't seen it yet. And um, it was really awesome because Christina had a very specific way she wanted to make it kind of teasy and 
more um, playful. So I had a really good time doing that. It's so great. I mean, everybody who's going to come and see it tonight is just going to see like the glitz and the glam, the makeup, the eyelashes. It's crazy. But uh, my character is just small supporting role where I get to just kind of have fun and, and uh, dance. And I, I'm I'm so thrilled about seeing the dancing tonight <laughs> and the singing everything, but in particular the dancing. You know, this is my first film. Clint Culpepper, the president of Screen Gems, put me in here. I did my first scene in a movie with Cher. And uh, all of my movie, all my scenes in the movie are with Cher. I'm just super excited. I have my mom here on the red carpet. She's walking around, looking like a star, and it's just a great, it's just a great night. The girls are like they cannot wait to see the movie. They're really into it. I love musicals. I love the wardrobe, the makeup, or the hair. I think it's fun. The entire aspect of it all. This is going to be a good one. But rumors are there's going to be a musical episode of Grey's Anatomy coming up. Are we going to get to hear you sing? Probably not. No. No. But he's actually. Singer. You see a movie every once in a while, you fall in love with the character, and that's yours, Sean. Oh, good. I'm glad. Yeah. Thank you. And it just seems so, it comes so naturally to you. Is that kind of your personality in real life? <laughs> yes. Just a, just a nurturing. <laughs> so Ellen here was saying how natural and real the chemistry between you and Christina was. How was it working with her? Um, it was an absolute pleasure, you know. She, uh, it was so cool to actually watch her figure things out, you know, and she would like, you know, a light bulb would go off and she'd be changed and, you know, all, all the time she was working on music, dancing, doing all of these other things. I don't really know how she handled it, but, you know, she's uh, an amazing girl. But it really does, you leave the theater just feeling so, like, victorious. And empowered. Definitely a wonderful, wonderful film for women. So many great storylines here, wonderful characters. It really is a treat to be a part of this great premiere, don't you think? Yes, and I love all the costumes. I mean, the singing and the dancing, the choreography, amazing. But then the music in the film. Um, I hope that we have a lot of singles to play on the radio from this film. So your first film in seven years, you must be so excited. What, why was it this script? What made it happen? Because I wanted to sing, you know, and that was really the main reason that I did it, because I I had been offered to do uh, Mamma Mia with Meryl, but I was on the road, so I couldn't, and that was something I've wanted to sing since in a movie since I was four years old. So I figured I better do this one because I have no idea when another one's coming up. All of our thanks to everybody here, to Sony Pictures Entertainment, to Cher, Christina, November 24th, Burlesque Hits Theaters. We hope to see you then. Thanks so much for joining us, and stay tuned for so much more right here on the YouTube Burlesque channel. Thanks for joining us live. Thank you.